Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Noel Schoonmaker here at Second Baptist Church of Richmond. And I want to welcome you to a special service of worship called Journey to the Cross, Musical Meditations for Lent. This service will consist of scripture readings led by our ministerial staff, as well as musical selections played by our organist, Dr. Mary Beth Bennett, all of which are designed to usher us through the season of Lent toward the cross of Christ. I encourage you to rest and reflect as we worship, to set your mind's attention and your heart's affection upon our crucified Savior. Let's begin with a reading from Psalm 119. Happy are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are those who keep His decrees, who seek Him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in His ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous ordinances. I will observe your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How can young people keep their way pure? By guarding it according to your word. With my whole heart I seek you. Do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. I delight in the way of your decrees as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word.
The next day, he saw Jesus coming toward him and declared, Here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me comes a man who ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but I came baptizing with water for this reason, that he might be revealed to Israel. And John testified, I saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it remained on him. I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water said to me, he on whom you see the spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I myself have seen and have testified that this is the Son of God. The next day, John again was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched, Jesus walked by. He exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God.
Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is stricken and withered like grass. I am too wasted to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like an owl of the wilderness, like a little owl of the waste places. I lie awake, I am like a lonely bird on a housetop. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. Your name endures to all generations. You will rise up and have compassion on Zion. For it is time to favor it, the appointed time has come. For your servants hold its stones dear and have pity on its dust. The nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of your earth, your glory. For the Lord will build up Zion and he will appear in his glory. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and will not despise their prayer.
Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. The writer of the following piece left this preface to be read before the performance of this final piece. When the Christian soul is in distress and cannot find any fresh words to implore God's mercy, it repeats the same prayer increasingly, a litany with overwhelming faith. The limit of reason is past. It is faith alone which propels its ascent.
And what better way to end our time together than with a hymn, a famous hymn of old, speaking of a journey to the cross. Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for sinners such as I? At the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away, it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Amen.